Well, what are the top five points emerging as a mutant virus first reported in the United Kingdom rattles India and the world? Well, an urgent meeting of the health ministry today. The major points they said is that this fast spreading virus, basically the mutation means that it spreads 70% more than normal, can pose critical risk for pandemic management, flights stopped by India and most of the world, not the United States yet, from the United Kingdom. Maharashtra announces 14-day institutional quarantine for passengers from Europe and the Middle East. Karnataka, meanwhile, has put in place tracking and testing for passengers from the UK, Denmark and Netherlands who've arrived in the last 14 days as global markets crash as well. But what exactly is this virus? Uh, Vishnu Shom has more on this because Vishnu, while it transmits much faster as normal, so far we know that it doesn't increase mortality rate and vaccines, the current vaccines are still uh, actually effective against it is what we know right now. Well, that's what we hope essentially at this stage. But here are the details. With a transmission rate of 70%, the new mutant strain of COVID-19 revealed first on the 14th of December in the United Kingdom represents one of the biggest global challenges since the virus went global almost a year back. Now, it's not that mutations in viruses are uncommon. In fact, there are hundreds of mutations to COVID already. But what we are seeing here are not just a large number of mutations, but mutations in the spike protein. What is that? That governs entry into human cells. And the impact seems clear. What you'll now see is a graph of the United Kingdom from the 1st of October to the December, 18th of December. Now, the blue bars are the original COVID virus. But as you can see, there is a jump in the so-called S gene variant. That's the new, more deadly strain over the last several days. Now, this mutation has been detected in Denmark, Australia, Italy, and the Netherlands, countries which carry out sequencing of the virus much more regularly than other countries. Now, this is important because without sequencing, we don't really know how widespread the new strain is. Remember, a standard RT-PCR test throws up COVID, not the type of strain. And it's not just the United Kingdom. South Africa is also reporting a new aggressive strain. It is different from the UK one, but now is also surging among new infections. Worried at the prospect of an altogether new threat emerging, a parting shot, if you will, from 2020, more than 30 countries, including India, have invoked travel bans. And at the moment, there is only hope to rely on. But while it is believed that the new vaccines will protect us from the new mutation, we still don't know that for sure. According to Dr. Siddharth Mukherjee, one of the finest writers on illness in the human body, if one of these strains was to become resistant to the vaccine, then the entire effort to vaccinate will become moot.